Okay, here we are with Miles Burris, linebacker, rookie year at the Oakland Raiders uh, from San Diego State. Um, how are you feeling about the Raiders so far? Feeling great. I'm, uh, I'm blessed to be here and, and getting a lot of reps right now and uh, just learning every day and, and trying to get better every day. Yeah, I, I've seen you've been with the first team as well. That's uh, quite an honor to come in and get that. Yeah, I, I kind of had to get bumped up because Curry's out right now and um, he's rehabbing, but I'm sure he'll be back real soon. And he's, uh, he's actually been doing a, a great job of coaching the guys up and especially me and uh, being a rookie in there and making some mistakes. And uh, he's helping me uh, in realizing what those are. And, and so the coaches are doing a great job and just getting me lined up. And uh, it's, it's just fun to be out there and flying around silver and black. Yeah, for those of us who don't know, check this man out on YouTube. Some of those insane uh, tackles, uh, catching the guy, <laughs> credible angles, a great linebacker. I was so happy when you got drafted, I can't even tell you. I oh, appreciate it. Okay, and you were a great student, a good character. You know, I'm, I'm calling you uh, Clark Kent. I just want you to know <laughs> that because you're Superman. Uh, 31, I think, reps at the Combine. Yeah, I did 34. They took a few away at the end. <laughs> uh, that would be a record, if I'm not mistaken. Is that uh, right? I have no idea. Oh, yes, it would be. I'll tell you right now. I know it would be. Uh, welcome to the Oakland Raiders. We're <laughs> expecting a lot more from you, I'm sure. Um, and what I just have to say is you got to get meaner and nastier. What is your motivation to get that guy? What is their motivation? What do you find? What do you, what do you think about when you're ready to get somebody? Honestly, one of the big... Uh focuses for me is just going as hard as I can on every play and you know a lot of times you get tired in there but especially when when game time hits you just you got to go as hard as you can every single play and just have a laser focus on what your job is on that certain play and so if the ball is going away from you you, you chase the ball as hard as you can and you make a lot of plays um, that you shouldn't make otherwise if you just play as hard as you can. That is great philosophy. I appreciate your time. I know you're tired just after camp. Thank you so much. We're looking for some great stuff out of you, young man. Thank you. Appreciate uh, it. I call you Roma now, Rom Romo too, because <laughs> I know you got it in you. Appreciate so it. So welcome to the Raiders. The Raider Nation is glad to see you here. Glad to be here. Right on. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Miles, I appreciate it. Go get it. Good. There you go. Go get it. Turned around in Denver last year. What are the keys to around this defense this year, especially fundamentals? Well, I mean, obviously, I, I think fundamentals are, are uh, uh, critical variable into uh, being a successful team whether it be offense, defense, or, or special teams. Um, uh, we believe in the little things, doing the little things right, and we're going to continue to preach the little things uh, because the little things become big things if you don't have them corrected. So uh, fundamentals are going to be critical in everything that we do uh, as a team. Having a defensive background, I would imagine for your <coughs> offense, you're looking for things that you didn't like to face, that you didn't like matching up against certain things. I'm just curious with a zone a zone running team, team that's going to do a lot of zone runs. As a defensive coach, what, what was difficult about it? Why did you want it for your offense? Well, it's 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 being able to uh, maintain gap discipline. And uh, I think the zone running scheme is the toughest running scheme in, in football. Uh, you know, and I think with our runners, the way that they can uh, stretch you uh, side to side and get you running and then find a crease and, and be able to you know, turn it north and south with their pad square uh, is, is going to be a good thing for us from an offensive standpoint. So uh, it, it, it's a tough scheme, and it's not just the zone running scheme. It's the way that it's taught, and this system has been productive uh, you know, for a long time, and, and so uh, it's always given us trouble. It was in your mind if, when you were the head coach that you were going to want a zone running Absolutely, scheme. absolutely. I mean, it's in my mind, it's it's the best scheme to run the football that there is. Dennis, is, is Mike Goodson enough of a change of pace back, so to speak, from, from Darren McFadden? Or do they have a lot of similarities, or do they just bring totally different things to the table? Well, I don't know that they just bring you know necessarily totally different things uh, to the table. I mean, I think they're they're fairly similar in some regards. I mean, I think uh, both of them are explosive. Uh, both of them have the ability in open space and in the passing game to make some things happen. So, uh, you know, whether he's enough change up or not, I, I, I don't know that answer yet for sure. Uh, but we'll find out once we kind of start playing some preseason games and see where these guys really are. 
I think our guys give us a, an opportunity to do a lot of different things. Uh, do we have that big pounding back? Uh, I don't know the answer to that yet. Um, once we kind of get into preseason games and we start seeing what our guys are able to do, uh, you know, the answer may be one of those fullbacks. We can turn around and hand the ball off to them, and, and that can be our guy that you know pounds it up in there. But uh, I think all of our runners, uh, although they may not be the biggest runners in the league, they all have a physical presence. Uh, the thing I look for is are guys coming out and working, and are they trying to get better every day? And I think for the most part they are. Um, we just got to keep pushing them through because as you get through the grind of camp, uh, it becomes harder and harder to get that done. If you weren't pleased with the practice, would you say it? They would know. Would we know? <laughs> I believe you would. <laughs> so when you first put on the pads, it looked like the defense had, had an advantage early on. Do you feel like the offense is catching up with that? Yeah, I mean, I think it's been, I think it's been a little give and take. Um, you know, um, I thought early in practice, I thought the offense got after the defense pretty good in the running game in the nine on seven period. Uh, I thought the defense responded in some of the situational periods with the red zone periods. Uh, but uh, I don't think any of these practices has been, have been just totally dominated by one side of the ball or the other. And, and that's a good thing uh, because for us to be successful, we're going to have to be a balanced team and uh, we're going to have to you know, be able to play well offensively, defensively, and in the kicking game. Okay, here we are with Jason Tarver. Defensive coordinator for the Oakland Raiders, right here in person. First of all, I want to thank you for being our defensive coordinator. You know, it's a step up, I'm sure, everyone knows, from last season. I see you out there. You're very tenacious. You're very loud. You're specific. You're a great teacher because I've been watching you every day. Um, Appreciate me, that. Tell, great to be here. Great to ahead. be with Raider Nation. Tell us, tell us what's happening. What's happening with the defense this year? Well, we're, we're, we're putting things together and we're learning everything through training camp. We just finished our third day in pads. And we've worked on base situations, third down situations, a little red zone today. And so what we're doing is we're putting in our base defenses and we're learning our rules and how we work together. And we had some good examples of the players learning to work together within the frame of the defense. So that's what we're doing right now. And then we're also learning how to play with contact, of course, because that's the best part of the sport. Okay. And where we fit. When somebody does something, how we fit off of that. When there's an outside run, how does that work? When there's an inside run, how does that work? When there's a play action pass, what do we do? And how do we work together? So that's what we're in the process of doing right now in training camp, is learning each other. And of course, our goal, stop the offense, get it back in the hands of Carson, McFadden, all those skilled guys we got, that's our goal. Well, it's, it looks like there's a little bit of defensive, offensive, thing going on right now you expect that to get more intense as camp goes on you know what's good is is competition competition makes everybody better and that's what it is and you know we're calling a play coach Knapp and I have actually worked together on the script so that we get different looks each play so that if the next time like if he's got a second time the play comes up we're giving him a little different look on defense so both the offense and defense learn how to use their rules and make things work against whatever looks the opponents are going to show us during the season. Now, the Raider fans are used to a specific defense from Al Davis. God bless his soul. What are we going to do, you think, different? I know you can't let the cat out of the bag, but are we going to see some difference in defense from what we've seen over the last decade or more? Well, with our, with our defense, and, what, and a couple of things that we say is, one of them is multiplicity through simplicity, meaning a lot of the calls are the same but look different. So we use things in teaching same as. This is the same as this, but to an offense it looks different. And then the other thing that we do is everybody gets a turn in this defense. So that means everybody gets a turn to cover, everybody gets a turn to rush. I've noticed so we'll that. leave it at that. Yeah, but. well, that's good. That's very good. I know you're a very busy man, and I appreciate this time. I'm going to call you the mad scientist because that's what I know you are. You're going to bring the magic and the science to the Raiders, and we surely appreciate you being here, my man. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for Thanks the interview. Thanks for your time. Man.